Hello, my name is Ryan Thorpe with UNDAthletics.com. With me here is Jason Height, UND swimming and diving head coach. And Jason, we're talking NCAA Division II championships today. Uh, of course, that starts later this week in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, you'll have 18 student athletes heading down, I believe. Uh, we'll start with them on the women's side. Uh, three invitees, four relay only participants going. Uh, it's a young group, uh, but you know, considering that you hadn't had, had the women hadn't been represented mm -hmm. since uh, 2014, this has got to be a pretty big benchmark for your program here in year two. Yes, yes. The three individual qualifiers we have are all freshmen, um, Athena um, and Sotia and then Darian. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited about that. And then our relay uh, only people, we've got a senior, a junior, um, a sophomore, a freshman. Yeah. So it's, it's, a good, it's a good group and we're excited about what they're going to do. Uh, it'll be the first time in several years we've got anybody going. Uh, the first time we'll have somebody score. Obviously that hasn't happened yet, but <laughs> Um, you know, we should hopefully have some relay score, and then hopefully we'll get at least, you know, at least a couple of those individuals, if not all three, scoring as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, then over to the men's side, uh, five invitees, I believe, with mm -hmm. the four uh, relay group as well on that on that side. Obviously, led by the, the three Brazilians that all three have a top ten time mm -hmm. uh, in Division Two so far this year. What are your expectations on the men's side? You know, on the men's side, last year we scored ninety six points. Uh, we were fifteenth place. Uh, the goal, the overall goal of our team is to be top 10 consistently every year. And this will be hopefully the first time that we are able to break into that. Mm -hmm. To do that, I'll probably take about 150 to 175 points. I think this group is very capable. Um, Zava, our, our new, uh, new guy at semester, you know, he has potential to score in the 100, the 200, and the 500. Um, and then Rodrigo uh, has a chance to score in his 2 IM, 100 back, 200 back. You know, even maybe even contend for the national championship in the 200 back, mm -hmm. um, and then Vitor. You know, Vitor has. Uh, I don't think we've seen Vitor's best yet this season, and um, hopefully, with uh, resting him, he's going to feel real fresh next week, and he's going to have a great meet and even better than last year. Um, and so you get those three to score, and then Bart, our senior breaststroker, um, he scored last year. I believe it was 14th or 15th. And I know that he wants to, you know, move up on that and then possibly even squeeze in in the uh, 200 breast. And then TJ, um, wow, what an awesome story that kid is. Just to come in and drop over four seconds at 100, your freshman year is remarkable. And, you know, to get him into the meet this year and let's see if, you know, let's see if he can, and can squeak in there. Because I think that every time TJ has raced this year, he's gotten faster. And I think that he has potential to do that again. And it'll be exciting to put him on that big stage because he just seems to always perform. And then, mm -hmm. you know, once again, we have the opportunity with all five relays to score. Um, our medleys probably have the best chance. Um, and then the 800 free. Um, but I think not only can we score in all five, but I think we can break school records in all five, which would be very exciting. Cool. Uh, so, of course, uh, we'll talk about the, the divers as yes. well. You have a pair of freshmen there on the men's side that are going to be in the prequal on a Tuesday. Uh, both of them had tremendous freshman years. Um, you know, Josh obviously was the GOVC men's diver of the year mm -hmm. as well. Uh, what are you looking to see out of those two? You know, if you ask Dave, our diving coach, Dave would tell you that we've got the capability of, or those two have the capability of finishing the top eight on both boards. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, I would say that's the, I would like to say that's the expectation but uh, with no pressure. Um, you know, those, uh, you know, I think the way that Josh is diving uh, right now, um, he could, you know, he could contend on the three meter and uh, for the national championship. Uh, Peyton's dealing with a little bit of a back injury, so it's been a rough last month for him. Um, but, uh, you know, he's, you know, I think that he'll perform really well. He's a gamer, he loves to perform, and he always does well on the big stage. So it's gonna be exciting. You know, with those two guys adding to what we're going to do in the, you know, in the pool, um, on the swimming side, you know, this this men's team is is looking really good and uh, is is bound for a top ten finish. Great, great. Well, good luck to you. I uh, appreciate the time, Jason. And of course, go to undathletics.com to follow all the updates on the student athletes at the upcoming Division Two Winter Festival down in Birmingham. Thanks for watching. Go Hounds.